In this video, we'll be checking out the custom post type UI plugin. What this allows you to do is easily and very quickly create a custom post type within the WordPress dashboard so you can hold and display different kinds of information that don't come built into WordPress. So for example, we have a site that we're working on that's a seminars website for property management. What this site has is events and different speaking opportunities. Now we've tried the events calendar, which you'll see right here, events, and it doesn't quite fit what we need. So instead of rolling a whole custom solution with different kinds of code, we can simply install a plugin called CPT UI, and we can add a custom post type similar to events. If you don't know already, posts is a custom post type. So posts typically holds your blog or your news, things about your company or yourself. What we're gonna do in this tutorial is add another custom post type here that says seminars, which will allow us to better organize seminars for this particular page. And also, just so you know, it doesn't have to be seminars. Uh, it could be properties, it could be books, it could be cars, it can be staff. We've even used this for job postings, etc. So it could really be anything you want in the back end of WordPress that you wanna organize and display in a different kind of way. All right, so that's quite the mouthful, uh, but if you have any questions, do let us know in the comments below or on our website, pressavenue.com ask. We'd love to create a video just like this for you. All right, so to get started, we've already logged into the back end of this website. We've gone to plugins and we're gonna go over to add new. What we're looking for is the custom post type UI and you don't have to spell it all out. You just do CPT space UI, and you'll see this orange box here. Uh, 600,000 plus active installations. Pretty good for me, created by a great company. Um, the reason I like bigger companies creating some of these is they're actively updated and fixed when problems come up. So we're gonna go ahead and hit activate. And what it's gonna do is create a menu option on the back end and we have a welcome screen to start. So as of this recording, we're on 1.6.1, um, but between versions, there aren't huge changes. So once you learn it once, you've pretty much got it. Um, so they had to talk about everything else. This is everything else they create, so little ads at the bottom. What we're gonna do first is go to add slash edit post types. So I'll go ahead and click that. Um, I have a caching plugin called WP Rocket, so it's asking to clear it. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. We'll start at the very top and it says basic settings, post type slug. So we're gonna call this one seminars. It'll all be lowercase. If you put any spaces, it'll be an underscore. Um, and then we add seminars. So you just really just fill this out, put in the singular, and the reason it's asking for these is if we clicked add post type right now, it would add a menu item on the side here. And then wherever you were adding multiple seminars, it'd have the S and the singular would have just seminar. So if I was editing a particular seminar, it'd say edit seminar without the S, etc. So that's why it's asking for these two. Um, some people name these differently. So add new seminar events with an S or seminar event. Uh, singular again. Further down, you can put a description. A lot of these you don't need, and this plugin can seem very daunting at first because there are a million options. But what it does is it takes this word seminar and it plugs it in where it says movies. So under menu name, it'll say my movies, all movie, or sorry, all seminars, my, my seminars, add new seminar. If you wanted to say something different, you would fill it in this box. So add new event seminar. Slightly redundant, but just to show you. Edit items, so I usually skip through all of these. And then it comes down to settings. So public, true, I leave all of these on, uh, unless I do need to change them. So exclude from search. I don't know why you'd exclude it if it's gonna be a public post type, but you can, you can do that here. Sometimes I change that depending on what it is and how I'm using it. Uh, coming down further, the menu position. So this one I always change. You have options five through 100. It's talking about the ones over here. So it will, I'll start with five just to show you where it gets placed in the left-hand menu. Um, and then the menu icon, it uses dash icons. 
So I'm going to search Dashicon, and it brings us to the WordPress.org uh, page, and I can choose what kind of icon I want in my menu. So let's see if there's one that's appropriate. I'll do this one right here, this group. So I highlight Dashicons dash groups, and I copy it. I go back here and I paste this in. If you use another set of icons, you can put in the URL here or you can choose an image from the library. Supports, I usually leave all this on. So it supports the title, the main editor, and this can work with the classic editor or Gutenberg. It's entirely up to you and what you're using at this point. And a featured image, I always leave these ones on. If you need additional supports, go ahead and check them. You can add custom stuff here. And then you can allow different categories and we'll add a taxonomy um, shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add post type. All right, so here we are. We have seminars on the left hand side. And remember, we did the position as five. So if you don't like it here, you would just click back to edit post types instead of add new post type and select seminars or whatever it is you created cars, books, etc. Sometimes other plugins will show up in here. Um, so if you have one for say testimonials or something, you may see that in here. Uh, so just keep in mind what you're editing. So I did seminars, so I'll come down here, way down and I'll do position six. Well, I'll do a higher one. We'll do position nine, come to the bottom, hit save. And now when this reloads, you'll see it's now under this events one. So we have events and then we have seminars and I actually want it above, but I just want to show you how to change that uh, position. So say it was a setting or something, you could put it way down at the bottom if it wasn't needed all the time. So there we're at seminars. Now when I click seminars, it looks similar to the posts page. Sorry, I had to cut over to get a hoodie because right now the polar vortex has hit the USA and it's cold even with the heat on. Anyway, so here we are at seminars. You can see that title right here that I changed, add new event seminar, and then a list of seminars, which there are none because I haven't added any. And then over on the left hand side again, it says all seminars, and then add new event seminar. And again, there's that title. So I can click here or here, or under this as well, I can go to new and then seminar. So it takes that singular label at the top here. And again, all of this can be changed via the plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add new. Um, this site has the classic editor installed. I'll turn on Gutenberg and show you how that looks as well. It works both ways. Basically, the title similar to Gutenberg will the title, and then you'll have the Gutenberg editor here instead of the classic post editor that you see. So we're going to go ahead and just name this one. Let's see. We'll just do Colorado Seminar. And then the details can go here. And then if you see here the permalink, it has the website slash seminars, which is the uh, plural, and the slug that we edited in the CPT UI plugin. Then it has Colorado-Seminar, so you can see that here. Uh, if you have Yoast SEO, it all just shows up at the bottom, and then that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Publish just to show you what this looks like. Uh, if I view the post, it's very simple, and we'll do a uh, different... Um, thing on how to display this better. But this is what the site looks like when you post anything. So it says the title, who posted it. That's not me, that's the person that owns the site. The date, this is Social Warfare, adds this in. And then Colorado Seminar, this adds it at the bottom. Typically there'd be long form content here, so you wouldn't see these stacked up right on top of each other. And then this is in the below post hooked in area. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to edit seminar and then go back to all seminars and you'll see here there's that Colorado seminar there. So again, this is how to create a custom post type within WordPress with the CPT UI plugin. If you have any questions about this plugin and how to use it, how to modify different settings that we might not have talked about or anything else related to WordPress, please do let us know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, I would love a thumbs up. Additionally, hit that red subscribe button with the little bell next to it so you can see more great WordPress tutorials just like this one. Stay warm during the pol polar vortex today. And also, thank you so much for watching.